Welcome to game five between Zeke and DeWalt. Upper right hand corner we have DeWalt starting as the yellow Protoss. Upper left hand corner we have Zeke starting as the red Zerg. This is going to be on Fighting Spirit Mania. And, or on Fighting Spirit. <laughs> yeah, part of Fighting Spirit Mania. I want to give a special shout out to the sponsors, LML, and Win Beachman, and of course Esports Fund. It's really... This tournament captures something about the essence of StarCraft. I'm not precisely, aside from the Fighting Spirit, I'm not entirely sure what. But something. Both casters all the way around. And I also want to give a big shout out to LML at large. He's one of those guys that uh, is kind of behind the scenes, doing a lot of organization for PSL, doing a lot of organization for a lot of things. Kind of an unsung hero. Anyway, game one. It looks like DeWalt's going to do that high ground pylon trick once again. Keep in mind, this definitely means he's probably going to open up gateway. And it does mean the wall's going to be a little bit harder to hold. Overlord Scout's going to be there for Ziki. Let's see, is he going to open up Nine Pool? This, so this could be rough for DeWalt now. This almost feels like a repeat of a previous, what was it, game one? Potentially. Uh, but yeah, look, honestly, this is going to be tough for him to defend off. It looks like it might not be full Zergling because there was the cancellation to get additional drones. So we'll see if Larva be sa uh, are going to be saved to go ahead and get the five. It might be that Ziggy just wants the Zerglings to go ahead and prevent harassment across the various bases, particularly after last match. But if he does decide to get aggressive, this is a wide open space to run by. Second pylon dropping. Drone engaging that probe. Uh, almost able to get some base damage down. The Overlord's going to go ahead and push over and see. And that is going to be six Zerglings. So I think uh, Ziki seeing this, seeing the gateway opener, seeing the pylon warping in on the low ground like this. I'm wondering if that is going to provocate some aggression. He is going ahead and dropping the hatchery at the natural expansion. But he can do this and still produce additional Zerglings. Yeah, additional Zerglings being fielded. Only a single Zergling splitting off. To deal with that probe. So first Zealot standing there and he's got to feel sheepish. He just looks sheepish. Look at that. Zealot just sitting there like, whoops, we got caught. So two Zealots. A lot of probes are going to come off the line or need to come off the line to try to defend this. Because also when Ziki gets Zerglings inside your base, it is not fun. Well, I guess it's fun for Ziki, fun for us. Zerglings trying to tempt the Zealots off the line. Doing a good job of doing so. It's going to be a long time before a cannon's up. This Zealot getting surrounded. Eating a lot of base damage. Two Zerglings down, but more... Where? Why are these holding short? More, Zergling, uh, more Zerglings grouping up. Forge is now up. And now Ziggy's produced a lot of Zerglings. Gotten a degree of map control. This is going to... Negate things a little bit, but this is going to be quite a delayed Nexus. The Zerglings once again surrounding, getting a good amount of damage. This Zealot, yeah, he's gone. Third Zealot popping out. The probe's now returning to home base, but that was a lot of, that was a good amount of lost mining time. So now that this cannon's up, DeWalt is safe. The probe's still alive, so it has a lot of scouting information to work with. Nine o'clock base, morphing for Zeki. And the Zealot's actually just opting to move out here. This is DeWalt for you. He's like, okay, somewhat safe. I got free Zealots. I'm just going to march them out now. That's going to provoke potentially additional Zergling production. Although maybe not, because keep in mind, two of them aren't full health Zealots. They're going to go ahead and try to march to the nine o'clock location. DeWalt's still pressing this. Almost getting a free Zergling kill right there. Looks like he's turning around. This single Zergling still trying to work on that. There are additional Zerglings now, yeah, being produced in sizable numbers. And well, it looks like he's going to be able to go ahead and get those alts back. So basically forcing Zergling production, not really costing him anything. Layer now morphing. Probe was wiped out. Nine o'clock base not yet saturated because, again, distraction Zerglings being produced. So right now, yeah, I like this play from DeWalt constantly where he moves these zealots out on particular timings. 
control group plus one. Overlord camping over, seeing the cybernetic squirt morphing in. Four zealots on the front. Another zealot able to somehow sneak out. How does DeWalt do it every single time? I think he took the southern route, but he always seems to manage to just... Manage to sneak. And you can see Zeke still trying to move these zerglings around. To make sure that nothing was lost. Maybe he saw that zealot on the periphery of his vision. But the zealot still looks like it might be able to wander up to the 9 o'clock. And they're all out of position to help engage this. Four zealots also marching towards the front as a distraction. So drawing Zeke's attention. All the zerglings moving that direction as the zealots walking in. The map, the map movement from DeWalt is just next level. Always. And while that's engaging there, he's going to go ahead and remarch out with these zealots on the front. So the drone taking some initial damage backing out. So this is pausing production at this 9 o'clock base. Two Hydralisks grouping up. Now going to try to engage at the 9. One advantage for Zeke is he just does have fantastic multitasking. Right now a little bit supply capped. While he's trying to keep track of literally everything that DeWald's doing. He's gone for Hydralisk then. Has the Hydralisk speed online. And it looks like he is moving up. I don't think for a bust. Maybe for a bust. He's got a lot of Zerglings to make it happen. The Zealot's pushing off the front line to buy some time. That's going to be five cannons. Plenty of cannons to defend this. Oh, and the Zergling's getting a little out of control. The Hydro's looking to get whoop, positioning so that whoop, with range, taking a lot of free damage there. With range, they can go ahead and find the gaps and yeah, at least take a gateway out. First Corsair moving across. He's going to be able to scout the main, scout the natural expansion. Hydralisk's are not here to help defend at the natural expansion and prevent Corsairs from doing damage. And the Zealots pressing forward, also distracting Zeke, forcing him to micro here, which is going to open up, yeah, potentially some Overlord kills. So Dewalt continuing to use his map presence, continuing to force Zeke to be preoccupied. He just has these little subtle timings that just draw attention at the perfect time just to make it it almost feels like when you're playing DeWalt, you have to think, okay, these are moving out. What's happening everywhere else on the map? This Overlord being pecked away at. But Zeke is managing to keep pace, at least in supply, somewhat. He does have the three bases. The Zealot's marching in, able to get an additional Hydralisk kill. And the Hydralisk's still going to back out. The three Zealot's marching... Oh, this is, might be a little bit of an overextension from DeWalt. Loses one zealot and might actually lose the additional zealots. Zeke microing into them. Another zealot down. One is going to make it back to home base to tell the tale. If the Corsair is still alive. It's going to be able to wander out to go ahead and see a transition towards five hatch hydro display. No evolution chamber yet from Zeke. DeWalt has finished level one weapons just right this second. Still has plenty of zealots on the ground. Pumped a lot of gateways behind this. And Zealot Leg Speed is just about to finish. Has paused Corsair, just using it to scout. Zeke pressing the front. This might be ill-advised. I don't think he has enough Hydralis to burst through. Losing a huge amount of Hydralis to these Zealots. And not even able to get a cannon. Yeah, calling GG right there. Flustered in this match. Just feels like he's too far behind economically. Had too much... Yeah, just, wow. And that's the thing. That was still from a fightable position. It just shows you uh, how frustrating DeWalt has been for Zeke in these matches. We will move on to a potential decider in Game 6. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.